Hello my friends. I'm going to show you how to extend the life of your mower deck. And it's a simple inexpensive device and I ordered two. I'm going to do this on two mowers. Okay, this is a deck wash down unit. Um, it's a universal. I purchased a universal. Um, the individual piece was like six dollars. Just lost the screw. And uh, this one has the hose adapter with it. This was the complete kit with a screw that I lost or dropped. And uh, this was eleven dollars. So it's that's a small price to pay to extend years of life out of the mower deck. In the past, I had kept a Craftsman riding mower alive for 20 some years and I had welded many times onto the lower mower deck and that's usually what goes on the riding mowers. So if you can wash the underside of that deck after every use you can really increase the life of that deck. So let me show you how to install this unit. Here's the units <clears throat> that I purchased and if you look close at what we have here, this is for on your garden hose. Threads on and it has the quick grip, kind of like it, what an air hose has. And it snaps on to this fitting by pulling it up and letting it go right there. To release it, just do it in reverse. <clears throat> so that's going to supply water into this end and on this side here you can see a little opening and it's going to come out with force as a jet because of how it's neck down okay when you put this in when you install it onto the deck you're going to have this shoot across the underside of the deck so both of these units are pretty much identical one looks like it's a little better machined that was the one that came in the kit here and this one was the one it came by itself no instructions whatsoever but it's pretty self-explanatory what it does the kit comes with instructions and the only thing that you need to uh, look at is the location of where this is installed. So they give you for the different deck sizes 30 inch, 42 inch, 46, 48, and 54. So the location where these are recommended to be placed are given here measurements. Now a lot of the decks um, are stamped and when they're stamped they are stamped with a indentation uh, where these would be normally mounted. Now the more expensive decks will have one of these already installed. So the cost to purchase this is almost insignificant to the manufacturer and it would be uh, very cheap to put this on every deck. But if they don't have this the decks will not last as long. So if you can clean the deck you can make that deck uh, lasts for quite a few years more. So when this, the uh, sheet metal is stamped, when they make the deck, they have an impression already uh, stamped into a lot of the decks. And both of my mowers, uh, the Husqvarna and the Craftsman, the decks look like they're identical. Um, they probably made by the same manufacturing company. But they also have a impression uh, stamped in there where this would normally be mounted. Some decks uh, will come with a hole already drilled for this and they will have it plugged. Um, and the reason for that is for safety issues so nothing can come uh, flying out of the hole or you couldn't stick anything into the hole. Well let's inspect the deck and see where that location is. Here we have the Husqvarna. It's a 42 inch deck and looking down at the deck here, this is on the left side of the mower. 
okay right here is a plat area and on the, the drawings this would be the exact location that was given in their specs so this unit will be mounted right here and it will be mounted with that opening towards facing towards the other side of the deck so it'll spray across both of the blades okay now let's take a, take a look at the craftsman here this is also a 42 inch mower and if you look at the deck here here is that same location with that flat part uh, embossed or pressed right into the deck same location as the Husqvarna and the uh, decks themselves they look pretty much identical they look like they could be interchanged well let's go and mount these and test them out what you'll need to mount this is I'm using a quarter twenty bolt three quarter inch long and uh, I never did find that bolt that I dropped but the bolt also did not have uh, a nut or washer and it looks to me like it was <clears throat> supposed to be able to be threaded into this hole but these are drilled smooth there's no thread in there so that's out of the question we have to use nut and bolt so what you want to do is use a lock washer with this you don't want it to vibrate loose so you have to have a lock washer then a washer for the bearing surface and then the nut and the, the um, it's going to go on this way washer lock washer then the nut the lock washer goes between the nut and the, the washer okay now when you mount this on the deck some people might have a tendency to put this on the underside and come up through and uh, it would look probably neater but I would caution against doing that because if by chance it did vibrate loose it would drop and this is a pretty good hefty chunk of metal that would go into the spinning blades and uh, so this could be a projectile with this mounted on the top of the deck and the only thing that would be extended through would be either the nut or the bolt depending on which way you run it um, this would be much smaller projectile in fact if it was the nut and washer on the underside that would be a minimal amount so this will be mounted on the top surface of the deck and like I said before it will be the port will be aimed across the underside of the deck so it'll hit both of the spinning props or blades we're not flying with this thing okay now when we drill we're, I recommend that you step drill the holes um, anytime you're going through the metal makes the drilling quicker easier and more accurate okay here's our location <clears throat> And first thing I'm going to do is drill the hole for this. So we locate the, the lo location like this. And this is going to be where I'm drilling. Notice I kept the drill speed lower. Um, when you're drilling metal you want to keep a lower speed so that it doesn't overheat it won't overheat your drill bit okay now we drill it to the hole size for this and I think it's recommended 3 8 but I'm going to drill slightly under because this looks like it's under 3 8 of an inch this is an 11 30 second drill bit through. I have a tendency to want to brush that off with my hands and I taught a metal shop or machine shop for 20 years 
you don't want to do that. You use a brush or a rag or something else, but th those uh, slivers can be razor sharp. There, safe practice. Okay, check the hole size. Perfect fit. Okay, now once that's in, we need to drill this one. And what you should do is center punch the whole location. And I don't have a center punch with me. And right there I have the hole located. Okay, again, this is going to go to a quarter inch hole or one size over. Um, since we're using a quarter inch nut and bolt. Okay, now we're going to step drill this hole. And when you start, you got to watch so that the drill bit doesn't walk. It'll have a tendency to want to move. That's why you want to center punch. So right there, without center punching, I did get it to start. And now we're going to drill this hole all the way through. And now we go to our quarter inch bit. And with this hole I'm going one size over. I'm going 17 64 Ready to be mounted. I am going to uh, run the bolt up through the top. run the bolt from the inside up. I want my washer to give bearing surface on the underside. So I put the washer on first. Run this in, run the lock washer, and now the nut. Now we tighten that to 10 to 15 inch pounds. So, without a torque wrench, that's it. Installation is done. Now we're ready to uh, do the second mower deck and then test them out. Washer on the bolt, then the wash or lock washer, then the nut. And then use your wrench and tighten that. Hold the underside. And the lock nut, lock washer, will hold that on. It should not come off from vibrations. And like I said, putting this on the top, if it does come loose, it's not falling into a spinning blade. Let's give her a test. Okay, what you're going to do here is remove your nozzle off your garden hose and screw the clip. Okay, tractor's not running. Cheddar done. I have it in park. I have it in neutral. And clip that on. Now we turn the water on, fire the tractor up, and then engage the gear. Okay, fire the tractor, then engage the uh, the mower deck, the cutter.
Okay, I don't want to put my camera down there or we won't have a camera left. But uh, you can see it's spraying across, coming through. You let that run until it cleans the inside of the deck. And if you do that, it's recommended that you do that after every mowing. Uh, if you make a habit out of that, that deck will stay clean underneath. After you finish washing the deck, you shut the mower down and turn the water off, disconnect your hose, and then what you want to do is fire the tractor up, raise the deck all the way, engage the mower, and let it run to air it out. The wind from the blade spinning and the centrifugal force should do a pretty good job helping it dry. Thanks for watching my friends, bye bye.